All right, Shalom. Welcome to GMS Gallows on the Streets. Uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his word. I'm Sakurun, Run, and with me we have we have the uh, brother Ainab and the brother Ibab beside me. And uh, the topic that we're going to speak on today is pretty much graduation day. Graduation day in, within, from this truth, okay? Meaning, um, after after the brothers, the elect, endure to the end, Yahweh Shah is going to pass out those crowns, okay? Now, it's not no physical crown, although we're going to have physical crowns in the kingdom of heaven because we are a nation of kings and priests. All right, get that for me too. And um, it's the, the crown is salvation, man, from the missiles. Where, as soon as you hit, as soon as you're saved and delivered into the chariot, you received your crown of salvation. You've been saved, man. That's that's the whole purpose of this, so that you don't be destroyed, man. When 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 the destruction comes, all right. That's 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 a, one of the main things, man. And to be well, one to be together with Yahweh Shai once again, you know, and to be delivered from what's coming. Okay, it's gonna be horrible, man. Okay. So now we're gonna begin with a couple of scriptures. And um, as soon as uh, uh, as I, I not get gets it, we're gonna go into it. You know, this is Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah. So all um, brothers, y'all have heard this scripture. Y'all read the scripture time and time again. But do you know the seriousness of that scripture, man? Endure. Can you can you somehow look up the definition of the word endure? We know we we know what the word endure means, right? To make hard. But sometimes you wanna you wanna get more out of it. You get the definition and and, and bring it you know fully to light. Because it, it encompasses a lot, man. That means a whole lot. That means enduring, staying in this truth, no matter what happens to you in your personal life. The loss of loved ones, the loss of children, the loss of of uh, your jobs and uh, monies and anything that will will, will uh, keep you from from being in the Lord, man, or take you away from the Lord. That's tough, man. That's tough. It's coming coming out of this world, man, and and and, and staying within this word, but battling all those elements. That's that's freaking tough. The only way you're able to do it is Yahweh Shai being with you. All right. Now read that. This is the word endure. Uh, Webster's Dictionary, 1828, from the Latin duros or duro means to last, to continue. Oh, see, see, you can get more out of words when you look up, and we, we learned that, of course, from who? The other apostles of Great Millstone. That's right. You see, to last, read again, man, that's beautiful, man. That brings it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Read it again. It means from the Latin duros. Uh-huh. From the Latin duros. Go ahead. Means uh, to last. To last. To, do you got what it takes to last in this thing? You see? Do you ask yourself, you gotta ask yourself this question, man. If you're feeling weak, pray to the Lord to give you that strength. A lot of brothers don't pray. They, so they end up getting washed away. But it goes deeper than that, right? They weren't, they just weren't the chosen. You see? To continue. To continue. To continue in what? To continue in the, in the word. How about Shem Yahushua? In the work, man. Do you have what it takes to continue? Do you got that that powerful, strong, long-lasting faith? Uh, if you don't feel like you do, pray. Mm -hmm. You know, the power of prayer, man. Mm -hmm. Fast. Oh, certain, certain. Thank you for saying that. Today begins the Day of Atonement. All right? Now, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate atonement for our sins, but we're rehearsing the righteous acts. And we're in the faith, so we know we know that what, what you know the righteous acts that we're supposed to keep, if you're able to keep them. And the day of atonement is one of them. Right. You know? And which means, because I heard there's some there's a there's a camp that's saying they down with us saying that the day of atonement is not a fast, that is a feast. That's bullshit. The scriptures say the law says to afflict. You're, you're supposed to afflict your soul, mm -hmm. not satisfy it. Mm -hmm. And when you eat, a feast, in, in, in a feast you eat and you drink, that's, that means you're satisfying your soul. To afflict your soul is to keep, to keep away from eating and drinking, you know? 
Because eating and drinking all this makes makes you feel so happy. You know, even King Solomon said that. He said, Oh, in the world, everything is vanity. Mm. He said, Here it is, I built I built this, I built the house of the Lord, I built my house, I planted gardens and and all this and then all for what? So that I die and the next guy come up and take and and, and, and then how do I know if the guy is wise or is he gonna be a fool? He said he said what I det- what I det- determined at the end, everything is vanity, man. Mm. And we and foolishness. He said, but he said, as you live, he said, the um, the um, eating and drinking that satisfy a man's soul. He said that. You know, makes a heart merry. You know. So it says to continue in the same state without perishing. Yeah, in the faith, in this thing. Once you come in, that endure it and stay to the end. You see, Paul said that he finished his course. He ran the race. You know, he finished the course, man. To remain, to abide. To remain, to abide in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So read it again, Matthew 24, 12. Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah, so we, we are to endure in this thing to the end. Why, like I said, the topic of this show is graduation day. So you can receive your crown. And you finally made it, man. You see? But until then, you got to keep it. Yahweh Shai didn't come yet. You see? So you got to keep going, man. You can't give up. You got to keep going, man. Stay strong. Stay in this. Go ahead. Okay, what we got? Get, um, get first to these. Uh, uh, what was that, 4 and 7? Oh, you had something? Um, yeah, if I got, if I got scriptures, don't be afraid to bring them out. I got one in Here it go. This is Romans 8 and 35. Talking about endurance. It said, Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah? Shall tribulation or distress? Yeah, tribulation come from many, many directions, many angles, man. Because you know who's bringing the tribulation on you? Satan. To try you, to test you. Keep in mind Job. Keep in mind Job, man. And the and the, the, the bet that Yahweh and 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 um and Satan made to test Job, man. To test his faith, to see, to see if Job would uh, talk, you know, go against the Lord because mm-hmm. curse the Lord because of all the tribulation that Satan was gonna put on. Him. And the Lord said, Nah, not my man, Job. He said, Look, you can do anything you want to Job, just you can't mess with his life. You can't take his life mm-hmm. because that's given to the Lord. That's given to Yahweh. You see. So Satan, you see Satan, and then Yahweh Shai come and Satan two thousand years ago. You see? So Satan, the only power that Satan got is to aggravate you and to bring tribulation on you as a test, man. You know? Man. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation? Right, and that's the reason I wanted to say this. Tribulation comes from many angles. Tribulation could come from... Shit, tribulation could mainly you. You're your worst enemy, man. Because Satan dealing with your mind, the demons dealing with your mind directly. It's like directly you. It begins with you within yourself first. Then the people around you who are negative, man, that are in the world, they have no faith. Your family, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your sons, your daughters. All right. Um, your jobs, a cracker at the job, talking, constantly talking shit, trying, you testing you. you see. Having no money, having or having too much money. Mm. How about that? Having too much money and then you, you, did the, you do the wrong thing, you fall away. You know? So, knowing what to do. You know, uh, uh, constantly making, trying to make the right choice and judgment, man. That's, that's uh, brain racking, racking, racking. But you gotta do it, man. You gotta do the right thing in this thing because it's all tests. Having no money, having too much money, having having too much of this, having too little of that, it's all a big test, man. At the end of the day, doing this work is what you gotta do, man. Priority. Set your thank you, brother. Set your priorities right. Set everything around the truth. Not the truth around everything, man. Mm-hmm. That's how you endure, you see? That's the trick. Have, have the truth. Have your house shy as the nucleus, right? Everything else surrounds that, man. Don't have don't have the truth surrounding all your bullshit that you do in the world, man. That's how you survive in this thing. 
Because as it's written, the Lord, that power is a jealous power. So that's why he said he doesn't, doesn't hate father, mother, wife, children, even his own life is not worthy of him. 